The special parliamentary committee is led by the chairman and Goroka MP Bire Kimisopa, bringing with him vast experience as a former police minister, legislator and policymaker. Kimisopa has taken this task head on by going to where the problem areas are. A meeting with the New Island Provincial Administrator Andrew Kayap revealed that New Island still has not received its recurrent budget for 2015. So it's a, it's a problem to us. We are not able to implement all the programs that the provincial government is supposed to do, implement uh, in a fiscal year. And so uh, it's a real challenge. Recurrent budgets include staff salaries and funding for the running costs of the province. The funding delay is affecting nearly everything in the province. The provincial administrator has since centralized all funding powers and rationalized spending. The reality between Wagani and the provinces is not there. Um, in the province it's very different. Here is where the people of Papua New Guinea is. And uh, if Wagani can come to the provinces, I believe they would better understand. Uh, it'll be. I think it'll be worthwhile. The health sector has been hit hard in particular. The government's recent introduction of the free health care policy has spurred a rise in patient numbers. Increased number of patients on a day-to-day basis. I mean, we've got a shortage of fuel to blow, running all emergencies, blah, blah, all clinic programs, blah, blah, blah. Officers in charge of health centers say they've been instructed to stop charging patient fees but they haven't received government funding needed to keep the health centers open. In our infrastructure or something, we've got maintenance to do. Water supply, we play along here, tap, we come along up, we play working maintenance, low on them. LLG, by working, but now we play along at some place, extra funding, blow LLG. 10,000 so long, we're out in triple half cup on top, yeah. LLG giving me plan. And for so long, repairing so I must sit up on top, and that's 10,000. Yes, that we are underfunded, number one, underfunded, because the grants that are coming to, functional grants that are coming to us is very small, and when I try to distribute that functional grant among 17 health facilities of government that I have, they end up with lousy 10,000 or 20,000 kin now, even some of them, 5,000, you know, which is just not enough for them to manage the health facility for a year. At the Catholic Church-run Lemacott Health Centre, the officer in charge has chosen to defy government orders. The veteran nurse told the committee if she followed government directives, health services would collapse. I have to tell you, government people, that I am still charging my patients. I need the money to pay for my light bill, to pay for my water, and to pay for my fuel. The general feeling is that Waigani is so far away that the politicians and bureaucrats are out of touch with the realities of what's happening in New Island. This morning the committee held a forum again in Kaviang and those views have been further amplified. The forum was attended by nurses, doctors and members of the general public. There's also a growing anger of a budget that looks good but only on paper. Scott Waide, National MTV News, Kaviang.